the idea of setting up an independent investigation team to investigate the alleged shooting deaths of the two Anwabada men by police was well backed up by the national government through the office of the chief secretary. In a meeting between families of the two deceased and state representatives in Port Mosby today, Chief Secretary Se Manasupe announced that the government aims to improve strengthening the law and order in the country. Thus, it is important that an inquiry be established. To bring back normalcy was basically that we will set up an independent inquiry for them. We have now set up and we will set up what is called a coronal inquest to get to the bottom of what, what, what happened at Namabada. As you know, coronal inquest, inquest are, is, is usually an inquiry to determine the evidence surrounding a certain event and determining who, who was responsible. Since the killings, villagers have openly expressed their distrust in police. They have set up their own investigation team consisting of three lawyers. This team will also conduct interviews and carry out a separate investigation. We want one of our, our own people to be part and parcel of the inquiry. And I can tell you uh, uh, that the Sir Zura has agreed to that. Uh, our young lawyer, Novara, is going to be included as part of the team, so he will be reporting facts. When responding to the Chief Secretary's announcement, Anwar Bada spokesperson lawyer Samuel said he accepted the state's decision to set up an independent inquiry. He said while the immediate families of the deceased have forgiven the shooters, they want justice to prevail. I have this just about an hour ago spoken to the Chief Magistrate, Ms. Ms. Mary Elekin. She has, she has now made available a coroner who's on a standby to start at ASAP. Meanwhile, a confirmed budget has not been set up to fund the inquiry, but the state will be financing it through the Prime Minister's department. The inquiry is set to begin next month. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.